Hello. Today, cameras. Cameras in Max. Cameras in Blender. Max is easy, yeah? So, we've got, we've got a little blue camera here. And then we go to here. And perspective cameras, camera two. Orbit, orbits around follows the camera. Wherever we render, it renders where the camera is. Alternatively, if we press P, then we can navigate around as a perspective viewport, and whenever we press render, it will render where we can see in the perspective. Yeah. Blender. Blend is a bit different, so we orbit around in the user perspective, and for new users in Blender, coming from Max, it's going to be hard, a bit difficult, but it's easy once you know how, yeah? So let's render, so, oh, so immediately it's not the perspective, it's rendering from the camera as we can see. So we go to camera, and then we think, okay, that's good, we're going to navigate the camera around, oh, so we see ourselves leaving the camera and then going our own way as a user perspective and you think how this is really annoying isn't it compared to other programs like 3d studio max yeah there's an easy way around this yeah if it's not always clear but it's easy once you know how so what you do is you go n press n on your keyboard and you go to this bit here view lock camera to view yeah then you go back to your camera and you can navigate around it, and it, now it's locked. So wherever you render, it's going to render from your camera view, where you can see in the view, like so. Right? So that's just a simple solution for something that often new users to Blender find difficult, especially if you're coming from Max. If you're coming from Blender to Max, then it's going to be easier for you. Okay, check out my other stuff on YouTube, and also my website www.jamesableart.com for my artwork and also some more tutorials and stuff. Great, thanks very much for listening and speak later, bye.